The new update of ZBrush 2021.5 has significantly enhanced the Sculptors Pro. Before, you were not able to hide any part or work on any specific part to use the, uh, the Sculptors Pro. You were only allowed to use the Sculptors Pro on all the, uh, like, uh, the, on the whole mesh without hiding any part of it. But now with this new update, you can uh, work on specific part. Suppose I only want to work on this part of this model. So what I can do here is that I can just control shift. Okay. And uh, choose this area. So this is will be shown here and control shift alt and hide this area. Oops. Let me turn off my symmetry control shift alt hide this control shift alt hide this now i on maybe this one control shift alt hide this as well and i don't want to see this so i will hide my bottom layer now if i want to work on spe specifically this area what i can do simply is that i can now work with the sculptors pro before we were not able to do this we were only allowed to work on the whole model we were not allowed to hide any model so i can go to my uh like sculptors pro the uh shortcut is uh forward slash on your keyboard okay so you can turn it on with that and now you can easily work with your sculptors pro on this on this part only on this specific part other thing that you can do now is that to uh, better understand how your uh, details are being sculpted, you can go to the render option and then you can go to the preview AO and turn it on. This will allow you to see in the real time the details that you're applying. It will show you the shadows and all the details that you're applying. And you can get the sense of how sharp your, de uh, your like details are, how soft your details are how significantly you, you are making it and you know whatever changes you uh, are, are doing it will show you with the detail of that ambient occlusion uh, dark areas that those lights and those kind of things so you can you know create more and more uh, you can like more and more different like sort of uh, like uh, like possible details with the possible uh new ways of doing this i'm i'm running out of words uh because i don't know how to explain this uh new enhanced uh sculptress pro but you know uh it has become more uh like dynamic and more powerful than it was before uh and with the help of this ambient occlusion you can apply more uh you know you can add more power to it just to see how well you are sculpting it what you are missing okay what you are adding and how it is going with like with you for like for the uh that kind of rest of your project okay so i hope this a uh, new sculptors pro uh update will really help you to create your own uh you know uh like a more uh, like it will open more uh, like doors for you and you can apply more and more uh, like creative possibilities to it let's do one more thing let me undo the whole thing here and bring back whatever was hidden now i will use snake hook brush tool here And I will try to make her look like she's melting. Okay, let me turn off the perspective for a while. So maybe her ears are melting. Okay. And then her nose is melting maybe. And her lips are melting as well. So you can see that. 
Now, I want to create that blobby look to it. So if I will go back here and I will start sm uh, like smooth, uh, like, you know, applying smooth brush here. So you can see that I want this part to be a little thinner. So I can keep on applying over here because I want this to be thinner. So a little bit bigger. Okay. But I want this to be thicker. So what I can do here is that I can press uh, shift on my keyboard, start uh, drawing over here because if I will do here, so you can see that I will lose the whole detail and I will have this little droplet here. I don't want to do that. I want to make this sm uh, like sm thicker. So the smoothing is doing opposite. It's making it smaller and it is uh, removing it. So what I will do here is that I will press shift key, start painting here, but then I will leave my shift key, uh, my finger from the shift key and start drawing here. So what it will do, it will do the opposite, it will start making it thicker. So this is how you can make things thicker as well. So just uh, start with the shift key, uh, which means smoothing, and then you can just remove, uh, lift your finger from the shift key. but Keep your uh, mouse click and start smoothing, uh, like you know, uh, start drawing over it. So it will make the things uh, more sm like uh, thicker. So I can make this one thinner on the top, this part. Okay, let's make whole thing thicker. And let's make it, bring it more down here. And make this a little thicker. Like, sorry, a little bit thinner. Now, it is thin, doesn't look that good. So, what I can do here is that uh, shift, click here, but leave the shift key and then start drawing so it will become thicker. Okay. And then I can thinner this shift. Oops. And remove this one, all of it. And same thing I can do here. I will just uh, shift and smooth this to make it a little thinner. But this part I want to make it thicker. So shift, click on it, but leave the shift key and then start drawing so it will become thicker. And you can pull it down with the move tool or with the snake brush tool. But you know, you can get these kind of details over here. Very nice form of details. Shift, then leave the shift and then start working on the other parts. So these kind of droplets you can make. With a shift key, you can make it smaller. And with shift key, then leave and then click and then leave the shift key to make it thicker. So this is how you can make these kind of uh, details on your model. So I can turn on my perspective again and you can see that this is how you can create some details. So I hope you have uh, understood now uh, like more enhancement that you have with the, uh, in your Sculptors Pro and you can do a lot with the Sculptors Pro now. You can work on the parts which I think uh, which is a big, like a big thing and a big uh, update here. So uh, if you have enjoyed my video, please click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate if you will give a shout out to my channel on your social media account with, uh, which will help me to, cre uh, to get more subscribers and this will really motivate me to create more content for you all. So guys, thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself uh, till we meet for the next lesson.